Hey guys, now in this video I'm going to show you how you can mount a fixture, like a lighting effect, on top of your speaker. Now I'm using an RCF active speaker, it's the RCF Art Series 312A, and they have mounting bolts uh, built into the unit on the top, designed so you can mount the speaker uh, in a flying rig. So I'm going to show you how to utilise this to mount your lighting fixture. Now all over the speaker you can see these little plastic circles here, and these are covering up the mounting points. Now, that's one on the side there. You've also got one up here on the top, which we're going to be using in this video. So you need to get something like a flat-headed screwdriver and just try and peel away that top section there. It's quite difficult to do and try not to damage the plastic bit because you really don't want to lose that in case you want to cover it up again. I suggest you keep them nice and safe. So let me just skip forward. So there you go. That should just now just peel off. Like so, and underneath it reveals a mounting point, just a little nut built into the unit. This is how we're going to mount our light. Now you're going to need a few things here. Now I'm using two washers, uh, two nuts, and a threaded bolt. Now you can do this with just a normal bolt, uh, but I'm just using a thread, because it's what I have lying around. So we need to first of all screw that down into the nut on the top of the unit. Then you need to grab your first nut and just thread that all the way down to the bottom. Then we need to get our first washer and just drop that on. And now it's time to get our lighting fixture. Now I'm going to be using the American DJ Vertigo Tri-LED. It's very dusty. So there we go, we just need to turn it upside down and slot through the hanging bracket. Now this bolt I've got is a bit too long really. Uh, I need to get a shorter one. So then we need to get our second washer and just thread that on top and then it's time to get the nut to fasten down the light so then just screw that on from the top. So there we go, we've now successfully mounted our lighting fixture onto our speaker. You can also put a safety chain around the carry handle to be extra secure. So there we go. And now the speaker's up on a tripod, you can see it's nicely mounted on the top. There we go. But I have found a problem with this setup. Now it's strange because it only is on one of the speakers. Now, turn this fixture on here. We don't have any interference coming through the speaker at all. But if we go over to this speaker over here and turn on the vertigo. Listen to that. That is not good at all. Now I have found a solution to this. Basically it was running off the same power uh, supply as the speaker. So I'm now running the vertigos off a different power supply to the speaker and I've had no problem with the interference again. So there you go, that is how to mount your lighting effect onto your speaker. Now this will of course vary between speakers and lighting effect mounting methods. So there you go, you will have seen I've used this speaker uh, light mounting method on my previous gig log. Click on the annotation there and it will take you over to that gig log. So there you go, that is how you can mount your lighting effect on top of your speaker and with this example using the RCF Art Series 312A. If you have any videos you'd like me to make, please leave a comment or send me a YouTube message. So please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time.